Well, you see, that's the whole point, is the word lie needs to be defined. Uh, sometimes not telling the truth, all of the truth, is your moral obligation. And you have a moral obligation to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth at all times to anyone who asks you. You would say, that's not in the Bibles. The moral thing to do is for me not to tell you. You ain't getting nothing out of me. Those issues relating to whether you have a moral obligation to tell the whole truth at all times to everyone, that needs to be answered by pointing out you don't. You do not owe them the truth. And see, that's another fallacy. People run around thinking life is just, and they run around thinking you owe the truth to everyone. You don't. That's what the Bible teaches. That was from Maury's available audio tape from the REF, catalog number J54. If someone tells you ahead of time that they don't believe that it's wrong to lie, can you believe them for anything they say after that? If someone tells you they believe it's all right to lie if they get in a pinch, how can you believe them anyway? At any time. Now they say 90 days. 90 days. If they don't do anything in 90 days, this thing is settled. It's settled. It's settled against Robert Morey. It's, it's With prejudice, prejudice to REF and Dr. Morey. And so uh, what we have here is... Uh, They've got 90 days from the signing of this document, which is May the 27th, 1994, and uh, also May the 28th. It was signed one day and then signed the next day by other people. Uh, so that basically takes it up to, uh, let's say, May, June, July, August. So about the beginning of September is when they should either have the audit completed or they pay up the 5000 Plus 10% interest. Right. So that would be about 52 whatever it is. But neither one of these things was done. Right, and see, uh, it says you'll pay the 5000 immediately due and owing to Larry and Gary Wessels. I mean, it says it right here, plain as day. And so uh, then we have down here point three, immediately upon the completion of the REF independent audit of its books and records, REF will duly and properly issue a receipt in the amount of $15,000 as an amount of cash donations given by Gary. Basically what happened is we, the REF owed us over 32000 we just, we, they wouldn't pay us all our money back. So we decided to take half. Our lawyer said, well, it's better to get half your money back than lose it all. So we said, okay, we'll take, we'll take uh, 15000 and lose the rest. And we'll just get the tax write-offs for the money we lose to the REF as donations. That's the best deal we could get. So we took it just to get some of our money back. But, of course, they never did this either. <laughs> so they breached that part of the contract. And then there's some other points here, but anyone that wants, wants to know about this stuff, the, uh, the point I'd like to mention here that's kind of interesting is point 10. Should any dispute or disagreement arise after the signing of this agreement, the parties agree that they may individually elect to place the dispute or disagreement before a board comprised of Pastor Bullock and the deacons of Christ Memorial Baptist Church of Austin, Texas, in which Larry and Gary Wessels are members. In such case, the parties expressly agree that any decision made by such board is final and binding for all purposes and is not reviewable or appealable to any court or tribunal. So here they, it, this is an arbitration clause. Right. The actual arbitrator for this agreement is Christ Memorial Baptist Church and Pastor Charles Bullock and the deacons. That's correct. It's not Humphrey Perez. That's right. I mean, it's right here in writing. Humphrey Perez. Now, Bob, let me get you involved in this. Humphrey Perez, in a letter you're reading from REF Vindicated a while ago, claimed to be the arbitrator. And he was ruling in favor of Mr. Morey and that we have to pay them $10,000. Now, here's the document that was signed. Is this document saying Humphrey Perez is the arbitrator? Or is something funny going on with this national bulk mail out? Well, it's a complete fraud to say that he was the arbitrator for anyone because an arbitrator is someone that's mutually accepted. Uh, and 
you men had never been even given any consideration about Humphrey Perez being an arbitrator. And the story that Maury and his people have manufactured is that Pastor Bullock and the Christ Memorial Church, as they say, fumbled the ball. Mm -hmm. And Perez, and somehow, was the guy who comes along and picks up the fumbled ball to carry it on its way. But uh, unfortunately, Perez, uh, in picking up the ball, whatever he did, he only re recognized one goal post. And of course, that was Maury's. And that was the only place he would go regardless. And he was never even qualified to be an arbitrator because he was a defender of Maury in the face of uh, obvious uh, uh, inconsistencies of fact, absence of fact, misrepresentation of fact. And so uh, he's no arbitrator uh, except in his own mind, just like a lot of other offices he claims to hold. It's only in his own mind. Well, I'm Larry Wessels, and uh, as we continue our investigation into this situation, I uh, wanted to bring up the famous telephone capers with Truth Seeker Bob, as I call it. Uh, this is simply another incident involved in this whole uh, whole ordeal with Mr. Morey. Uh, in this particular situation, uh, Mr. Morey has tried to uh, get my uh, get my telephone number for our little. Uh, ministry here, uh, Christian Answers, and uh, I guess I'll just uh, go through the uh, information, and uh, if you need further investigation, I realize the video video quality here is not very good because of the you know type of camera equipment we're using here for this segment. Uh, so if you need uh, these documents that I'll be showing, which probably will not be very clear on the camera, uh, are all available, uh, easily available. We'll make make all these uh, anyone that's interested can uh, obtain the actual documents so they can see them more clearly. Uh, I realize in the video you won't be able to see them very clearly, but all right, well, with that said, let me uh, start out that uh, this this situation with Southwestern Bell Telephone uh, goes back to uh, a letter I received, and I've got Xeroxes here. The actual letters from Southwestern Bell are here. I've got them uh, you know, rubber banded together. I've had I received several letters, and in fact, even a package from Southwestern Bell. and. Uh, so the, all the authentic material is here from the telephone company, but for the sake of uh, presentation, I have Xerox or all of inf information and put it in chronological order so the viewer or whoever's investigating can follow this logically and chronologically. Well, anyway, I got a, got a letter from Southwestern Bell one day, and this letter was uh, dated October 27, 1995, uh, written out to uh, Larry Wessels. Uh, Christian answers, and uh, basically it it says it says, dear Mr. Wessels, please find and close a copy of a letter sent to Reverend Charles Bullock of Christ Memorial Baptist Church, as you will find per the above mentioned letter. Dr. Robert Morey is making a claim for the use of the telebranch service, area code five one two four four one zero five nine two. Also find and close copies of an arbitration agreement signed by yourself, Gary Wessels, Robert, and Ann Morey and Douglas Shank, board member for Research and Education Foundation. This matter has been transferred to Reverend Bullock and the deacons of Christ Memorial Baptist Church for resolution. This correspondence is only to inform you of the claim by Dr. Morey to this telephone number. Please direct any questions pertaining to the status of this telephone account to Reverend Bullock at Christ Memorial Baptist. Sincerely, Thomas J. Wagner, service representative representing Southwestern Bell Telephone. Okay, so I get this in the, I get this in the mail. And he, the telephone company is telling me that Robert Morey is trying to get my telephone number, which is area code 512-441-0592. And they also enclose a copy of the letter they send to Reverend Bullock uh, mentioning uh, uh, some more information about this situation. He Basically, in this letter that Southwestern Bell sent me that was addressed to Reverend Charles Bullock and Board of Deacons at Christ Memorial Baptist Church. It says, Dear Reverend Bullock, it has recently come to our attention that there is a telephone number we are providing service on, the use of which is being disputed between uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Robert Moore, executive.